Hers and Jason Suji reacts and this is why wasn't there a Turkish missile crisis by channel uh, history matters when the USSR placed nuclear weapons in Cuba the United States was quickly to publicly demand that the Soviet Union remove them or face war as many will know they were placed there in response to the USSR putting its own nukes in Turkey beforehand yeah USSR always had this kind of a, like a, a mentality like when we do it uh it's as a deterrent but when you do it it's like a, you know uh, you're acting out it's just like i don't know a teacher talking to some of the some of the students or kids like somebody below them uh throw the history you've seen that right and there is i guess you can make a case about that right uh, us being democratic country usually they face something that's more tyrannical so yeah sure but as far as the you know turkish missile crisis i think cuban missile crisis was the turkish missile crisis because they're both you know joined together i guess in a way right because it was called something like saturn jupiter right? i'm pretty sure it was jupiter missile versus i don't know why i'm uh, it wasn't saturn, no it was jupiter missiles right they were put in turkey but there were more element to it like there were also weapons in britain that they put there that could also attack you know ussr if need to be so there was two front not just one Uh, so you know us had that for a good enough time there but when cuba finally you know us are finally said to put it in cuba uh, that's when like okay this is getting a bit too serious and the all crisis started us are was hoping that uh, us probably will take the weapons back or something right uh, because of this is like we can come to some agreement but yeah see it's just but you know it's like a south park episode that always goes in my head like us are putting missiles in turkey in like you know us are is like Hmm, hmm that's a good tactic right that's a they using that as a deterrent smart and just everybody just calm in the office and as soon as if ussr puts missile in cuba in meanwhile in usa it's like south park was everybody just everybody just running around oh my god we're going to die <laughs> that's always what one of the most famous events in the cold war was the cuban missile crisis in which a crisis occurred in cuba <laughs> <you> concerning go, <laughs> missiles this saw the soviet union place nuclear weapons in allied cuba As you may know the USSR station weapons I see I saw Soviet the Cuba missile crisis video and you know Castro being happy that's like opposite of what it actually happened right Castro didn't want it Castro knew like what kind of a heat this would bring <laughs> USSR said, we got you we got you in the end they didn't <laughs> they didn't get it <laughs> Castro was like what the fuck man it's so you know he he was just got screwed there right he knew that from the start so he wasn't happy about it weapons in allied Cuba As you may know, the USSR stationed weapons in Cuba in response to the United States earlier placing its own nuclear weapons in Italy and Turkey. The Soviets knew about the weapons in Turkey. They were furious, but ultimately they didn't make a fuss about it like the Americans did with Cuba. Which raises the question, why? Why when we do it is a deterrence for freedom. When you do it is act of aggression. That's that's how it's always been, I guess. Wasn't there a Turkish missile crisis after America stationed nukes there? So as of 1960 things between the United States and the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics were getting a bit tense and one of the things that the US government had to concern itself with was nuclear war and a part mm. of potentially winning said war was reducing the amount of warning that the USSR would get when the <laughs> literally everyone dying <laughs> so I'm going to press go war conference is going on okay okay we we had this for years like since we began for past millennia there's always been war so give me the stat what is going to happen so it's nuclear and then it just slowly right of a chalk everybody going to die this was going to happen put down the chalk right there <laughs> missiles were launched and at the time there were two main ways of doing this one develop faster missiles which sounded hard or two move the missiles closer the second mm. option was chosen when president eisenhower offered to store them in turkey and italy this was to reassure them that america would be there and to deter the ussr from using nuclear weapons against them The USSR learned of these potential deployments in about 6 seconds and Premier Nikita Khrushchev routinely complained to the US, Italian and Turkish governments about their deployment. In 1961 when brand new not shot president John F Kennedy was sworn in it was his hope to find a long-term mutual agreement to some of the issues of the day. As such he and Khrushchev met in Vienna to discuss what could be done. This meeting went poorly. Khrushchev berated the new president calling him a weak leader whose actions across the world were overtly and covertly hostile towards his government and its communist allies. Kennedy had mm. been toying with the idea of removing the missiles from Turkey, but when Khrushchev issued the Americans an ultimatum to leave Berlin or face war, he opted to keep them. And just over a year later, Soviet nukes were on their way to Cuba. So why didn't the Soviet Union publicly demand the removal of nuclear weapons from Turkey in 1961 like the USA would do with Cuba the next year? Well, there were two main reasons. The first reason that the United States could publicly demand that the USSR cease their nuclear activities in Cuba was that they thought that they could stop it. JFK's advisers didn't think that nuclear weapons were actually on the island yet. 
Spoiler alert, they mm. were, but at the time, the Americans didn't know for sure. And thus, it was believed that the USA's much mightier navy could stop the USSR from ever delivering them. Furthermore, the United States believed that in the event of a war, the US could quickly overwhelm Cuba with an invasion before the USSR could really react. Whereas mm. the USSR had no such beliefs. In order to remove the weapons from Turkey, the Soviets would have needed to launch a major land invasion. This would have dragged the rest of NATO into a war, thereby threatening the existence of communism in Eastern Europe. Yeah, I mean, people need to understand, like, this was, like, post-World War II element, right? Because World War I happened, relatively small time, World War II happened, it just felt like war, war-y feel, let's just say. That's what Cold War was, basically. Like, precedent was already set, like, wars, world-scale wars, right? So, Cold War, uh, if you don't have, uh, let's just say, some something to flex basically like you can't just demand it like take away you know your nukes from you know turkey why what are you gonna do about it there, there was always about something like that so if you can do something more then you can demand it like if you don't do it i'm gonna do this right it's not like today where people can demand things in the name of global peace and things like that that wasn't the case then so i, I guess i can see kind of things uh, coming but you know like I said, there was already some missiles in Britain as well, right? That could have hurt USSR. I'm pretty sure I remember reading that. Because, of, I don't know, a year or two ago, I saw the Cuban Missile Crisis series. And after that, I read a lot about it. And there were already missiles in Britain. So even if they removed from Turkey, I think threat was still there because of Britain. Europe and also such a military buildup would have been spotted long in advance. And reason number two that the USSR said nothing was, well, what was new? The USA already had long-range missiles pointed at Moscow. And since the mm. 1950s, it had fleets of long-range bombers posted in numerous NATO countries which were more than capable of... Yeah, but were they accurate? Uh, I know USS technology was good, but at that time, were their missiles accurate enough? I don't know. ...launching nuclear attacks against the USSR. The Soviet government was, frankly, used to having American nuclear weapons at high readiness pointed at them. And making their existence <laughs> publicly known would do nothing but panic the Soviet people. As yeah. such, Khrushchev kept quiet and used the Cuban crisis to get the missiles removed from Turkey and a guarantee of Cuba's security. Which frankly meant that after the crisis, the USSR had more in 1962 than it did in 1960. I hope you enjoyed this episode with a special thanks to my patrons, James Bizanet, Kelly Moneymaker, Kosh. Yep, there we go. Kind of makes sense, right? Yeah, I guess, you know, Turkey's missile crisis and Cuba, Cuba was the second answer to it. So crisis would begin there, right? Uh, you know, it has to go back and forth. The so second one is going to be, that's why it's named Cuban Missile Crisis, not just, I think you should just call like Cold War Missile Crisis because it kind of involves Turkey as well. That was the reason. Cuban Missile Crisis wouldn't exist if there was no missile in Turkey to begin with. But yeah, this was really interesting video, man. But yeah, I don't know why he didn't mention the Britain one because I'm pretty sure that was one of the main key points that I noticed in many articles that I've read. Like, yeah. Alright, well, if you like my next channel, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.